So two chains, not three chains, says Uber driver was very disrespectful to his wife and kids. Let's watch the video. Wow. Wow. She's angry. Right. So I, I don't know. There's a lot of swearing, a lot of dirty words there. But um, two chains called out Uber after a driver was allegedly disrespectful to his wife and children. I would too. You disrespectful to my wife and children, you'll pay the price, period. So he did the right thing there. But I think what happened is he saw what Snoop Dogg did. And, the, you know, the rappers felt a little bit empowered by uh, that Instagram post. So, you know, he, he follows up. In a video posted to Instagram, his wife, Keisha Epps, can be heard arguing with the driver and calling him a pussy ass N beep, 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 as she asks security to step in per hip hop DX. Those in the vehicle can be seen seemingly shuffling out of the car in the clip. So I, I don't know. I don't know the true story here, whether it's celebrity entitlement. The driver was wrong. The driver was right. Maybe we <coughs> maybe we need all the <coughs> the facts in. Right. Sorry. I just ate something and it went down the wrong channel. Hey, Uber, we need to get this right. Two chains wrote on the Saturday post. A driver was very <clears throat> disrespectful to my wife and kids and tried to put them out in the snow. So that's how cool. You don't just put a wife and kids out in the snow. Um, as far as dis disrespectful language, I didn't think she did a great job. Um, she certainly didn't do a great job in front of her kids. I mean, if that's the language she uses. But it remains unclear what prompted the verbal altercation involving Titty Boy's family. But the argument comes just days after Snoop Dogg had his own problems with an Uber driver. After ordering an Uber, Eat Snoop said his driver refused to fo follow his instructions. Well, we've gone over this in my previous video. Just look at the one. Right before this video, Snoop, you're in the wrong and you need to apologize because the facts are in, right? So, um, I've already played that one. Hey, you know, we can play it again. Motherfucker from fucking Uber East didn't bring my fucking food to my here ride. This is not a safe place. You punk motherfucker, where my food at? Nigga, you got all my goddamn money, punk. So those, those rappers definitely have a portfolio of, uh, really nice words and language but um who knows who inspired it whether the three chains or two chains or one chain was inspired in, inspired by the dog but we, we we don't know we don't know the true story but I, I can tell you what i think anyone who feels like um their wife or their kids were disrespected is going to um is going to be very vocal and act up. So, you know, he, he was he was rightfully upset. There's something that really triggered him there. But again, I'm excited to hear all the facts. Hopefully there's a there's a there's a follow-up story on three chains or two chains. And um, let's find out exactly what happened there. I'd, you know, the drive the driver can come onto my show. I'd like to in, uh, interview the driver. Why don't you tell us step by step, be very honest, what happened here? How did you disrespect his wife or kids or didn't you? Or why did you want to throw them out in the snow? But um, let's hear the entire story, right? You know, because a lot of people just came out um, when the Snoop Dogg story uh, dropped. But they did not know all the facts. The facts came in the next day and Snoop Dogg was clearly in the wrong. I'm not saying his wife or his kids are in the wrong. I'm not saying that. Absolutely not. So, or two chains. Come on to our show and, and 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 tell us, right? Tell us what. And then, by the way, I've seen this guy in concert, right? I went with my kids, so you know you got you got quite a bit of money from me. Three people attended your concert. Um, I paid for it, so you got some cash from me. So maybe you'd you'd want to come on the show and and uh, let us know.
and Snoop Dogg, maybe you want to come on the show and let us know what really went down, right? Give both sides the benefit of the doubt. Let's see how the story plays out. Be safe out there.